to happen all through today. Now you'd realize that during the president's, president's third address uh, to the nation on Saturday, he did acknowledge the fact that we're putting measures in place to ensure that the country does not cripple from the coronavirus pandemic. And one of those things includes the fact that today uh, is declared the national day for fasting and prayers. Now we all do know that Ghana is a very religious country with Christianity and the Islamic re religion being the most dominant in the country. But we would not be the first to declare National Day of Prayer and Fasting um, in the world concerning coronavirus. On the 15th of March, the American government also set that day aside to pray. Now, I also did mention that the Italian Prime Minister did mention that they had tried every means possible to fight the virus. Unfortunately, they were losing too many lives. Too many people were getting infected, and so they left everything in the hand of God. And so I believe that it is right that the president would ask that we all pray. Just last week, he assembled uh, some of the most powerful men and women of God at the Jubilee House, and also the vice president assembled some of the most powerful imams um, in the country as well to pray for the nation. Now it is our turn as citizens and not as spectators to also uh, heed to the call of the president and continue to pray. But how relevant would a day declared for prayer and fasting be in the fight against coronavirus to help us uh, in this discussion and later on to also uh, spearhead the prayer and fasting right here at TV3 we have in the studios Bishop James Kweku Sa and he's the senior bishop at Action Chapel Prayer Cathedral he joins us thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning it's a pleasure to have you thank you all right and also joining us is Madame Gifty Afeni Datsi and she is the national prayer director for a glow international it's an honor having you join us on air as well i hope you're all doing very well this morning thank you all right now first of all we do understand that we have to pray we have to fast it's important to call um you know upon the name of god and ask him to save our nation especially at this time when things are looking very dire this won't be the first time that you know any country and especially ghana has declared a national day of fasting i want to understand what really is the relevance of a day like this bishop i'll start with you and i'll go to madame gifty the bible speaks excessively about prayer throughout the ages from the old testament and the new testament emphatically prayer is an avenue for divine intervention and throughout the Bible, in our day and time, well before we became born again, um, whenever there was a crisis in the Bible, mm. whenever there was a crisis in nations, uh, as the Bible says in Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, my people, yeah. Yeah, so emphatically there are people who know the Lord, and they call upon the Lord for divine intervention. When you come into the New Testament, the same arrangement is there yeah. from the book of Acts, particularly Acts chapter 12, and throughout the word of God. In Acts chapter 27, it declares that when crisis comes, it's not your last resort. Your first resort as children of God is to seek the face of God for divine intervention. And I think that's exactly what we are that's doing. That's exactly important. Do we have a history to back this? And I'm not even just talking about the country, but what prayer and fasting has done for people um, you know, across the world and what it could possibly do for us as a nation as well. Auntie Gifty? <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, permit me to go into scripture. Okay. In Jonah 3, the Lord specifically sent Jonah to Nineveh because he had threatened to bring destruction upon Nineveh. Mm. And so the Lord had Jonah go there to warn them. Now, if we read from verse 4, on the first day from this, Jonah 3 from verse 4, mm. on the first day Jonah started into the city, he proclaimed 40 more days and Nineveh will be overturned. The Ninevites believed God. They declared a fast. Mm. And all of them, from the greatest to the least, put on sackcloth. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, took off his royal robes, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat down in the dust. Then he issued a proclamation in Nineveh. Mm. And that is what has happened here. Mm. By the decree of the king and his nobles, do not let any man or beast Head or flock, taste anything. Do not let them eat or drink, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth. Let everyone urgently call on God. Let them give up their evil ways and their violence. Who knows? God may yet relent with compassion, mm. turn from his fierce anger, so that 
we will not perish. Then listen to what God said in verse 10. Mm -hmm. When God saw that they did, what God saw what they did mm -hmm. and how they turned from their evil ways, he had compassion and did not bring upon them the distraction he had threatened. Mm. So there's a place for fasting and prayer. There's a place for turning away from our wicked ways. As my boss said, Second Chronicles 7.14, I call it the Second Chronicles 7.14 formula. Mm. If we humble ourselves, if we pray, we seek his face, yeah. and we do not turn from our wicked ways, he cannot heal the land. Mm. Now, if you go into scripture, in Hosea 4, you realize that God says, I have a charge against you. Hear the word of the Lord, you Israelites. And I'm saying, hear the word of the Lord, you Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord has a charge to bring against you who live in the land. There is no faithfulness, no love, no acknowledgement of God in the land. There is only cursing, lying, and murder, stealing, and adultery. Is it not what is going on in our land? Have we not forsaken God? It's truth in the land. Ah, we are media people. Yeah. Can we always say that the reportage is strictly true? Mm. Do we give both sides the opportunity to even air their views? So all of us, from executive, judiciary, legislature, media, financial institutions, churches, aglo, all of us, we have sinned. And for me, today, if the president says that we should come before God in fasting and prayer, mm -hmm. in that humility, we want to say, God, forgive us. Take our stony hearts. Give us hearts of flesh. Yeah. And move us to follow your word so that you can heal this land. Many of us, they say 71, let me be conservative, 71%. Mm -hmm. We are Christians. Christians yes. So why must this nation be full of corruption? Be full mm. of wickedness. Mm. The Lord says that if we do not love one another, then what is the point? Do we love one another? I think the point which it also acknowledges, mm. there's a certain mystery, we're still on the first yeah, question, yeah. there's a certain mystery in Acts chapter 12. The perennial question that has been asked when it comes to prayer and fasting, in the scheme of things, in God's purposes, in Acts chapter 12, the Bible says when Herod stood up and harassed the church, decided that he would shut down the church. Mm. The Bible says he took James and killed him. Right in their presence, he killed him. But the Bible, Bible scholars have been asking, oh, come on, you mean if the church didn't fast and pray, would Peter also, the supposed lead guy, yeah. if Peter also, if they didn't fast and pray, would Peter also have been killed? And I think it's answered for those who think fasting and prayer is not relevant. Okay. There's a, a strange angle. It says, the Bible says emphatically in Acts chapter 12. Mm. It says in verse 3, And because he saw that he pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. And when he arrested him and put him in prison, intending. But it says in verse 5, this is the mystery. But Peter was there for But constant prayer was offered to God mm. by the church. Yeah. Not by my, uh, unbelievers, okay. not by the heathen, okay. not by idol which we said, by the church. It declares clearly, it is the church that stood in the gap, as uh, Ezekiel chapter 22, the last verse says, he mm -hmm. said, but constant prayer, you see. So if the church hadn't prayed, yeah. James would have been killed, he would have gone to heaven. He won't go to hell. He's okay. a child of God, he'll go to heaven. But it will be by default because the church didn't rise up to pray. But it says, but constant prayer. So mm. this time around, they became a let no. Mm -hmm. We've missed one chance, not again. James is gone. Here so is Peter, do, incarcerated okay. now. Yeah. So they stood up and prayed. So it adds up to what our sister is saying here, that prayer is important. We've got to understand it in the scheme of God's purpose. Mm. Clearly. That it and is that's important. A very, very, very. Going back to the scripture, Madam Gifty, before I come yes. to you, uh, back to Second Chronicles chapter seven, verse fourteen, which yes. says that if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, there's this belief that maybe God through this. Uh, disease on the world, you know, brought it into the world because we're sinning too much. Other people are also saying that God loves us too much. Why would he destroy his own people, um, you know, 
just because of something wrong that we're doing. And so what do you make of that? Is it really based on the sin that we're committing? Is that yes, why two we things. have COVID-19? First of all, in Lamentations 3, 37, it says that we see that saith and it cometh to pass when the Lord has not commanded it. Mm. So I believe that <laughs> what has happened, happening in the, in the, in the world, world yeah. he, he knows about it. He has given permission. And then you realize that any time when you go into scripture, any time we are stubborn, God, when he wants us to turn back, back yeah. he brings something on board for mm -hmm. us to come back. Otherwise, we are behaving as if there is no God. We are behaving as if we are, we created ourselves. No, we have a God. And if we, if you will permit me, Let's go to um, Second Timothy. Okay. Because people will have to know that <laughs> God he is merciful. Mm. But I want us to know whether these things are not happening. He's also a God of judgment. Yes, he's a God of judgment. That's okay. important. It says Second, Second Timothy, Timothy three. chapter. Mm -hmm. Okay. But mind that there will be yes. terrible times in the yeah. from, from two. Okay. Okay. People will be lovers of themselves, mm. lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, mm. have nothing to do with them. Now, if you read on and you read on, you realize that this is what is happening in the world, yeah. all of us. Now, let's just oppose this with um, Exodus 20 that talks about the Ten Commandments. That one, there's no contention. Mm. Most of us believe that that one, it was God who himself. He has told us there are certain things he doesn't want. Still, in our nation, don't we have side check, adultery? God says specifically, I do not like it. We mm. are doing it. Don't do it. So in, in, in Romans, he gave them to reprobate mind so, so that, okay, do what you want. Let the men marry men and mm. let the women marry women. Yeah. And then we'll see what will happen. But it's, and and yeah. so if you realize... Uh, in Exodus, from verse uh, chapter eight, going, you realize that God was angry with Pharaoh, mm -hmm. and so He brought a lot of plagues, a yeah. lot of plagues, a lot of plagues. In Second uh, Samuel twenty-four, from fifteen to sixteen, when uh, David, so I, when our leaders sin, there are precautions. When we sin, there are precautions. But I'm saying that in Second Samuel twenty-four, fifteen, sixteen, if you read, you realize that. Uh, uh, David had offended God by going to count the people. And then they said, go plague the people. 70,000 died. Mm. And then when David brought petitions to God, uh, they, they, when, when the angel lifted his hand in the, the 16, he said, God repented and said, it is enough. Mm. So we are praying and we are saying, God, please. But the way they kill us. But the blood that was shed, not let, to let, let me cut you. Okay, go ahead. What she said. Mm. I think when you read the book of Judges, the book of Judges is primarily when the judges were introduced by God. It was largely because of the place of their sin, okay. their wickedness, and acts of default, things that were contrary to the will of God. But the cycle was created that every time they sinned, mm. And God introduced a judge who led them out of it. The people repented and walked in the ways of God. Mm. In the light of what is the, my sister here is saying, uh, sometimes I think believers in the New Testament of Ancestors emphasize the place of love against the place of judgment. I was actually the, coming to that. Oh, you were yes, coming to that's that. That's what I was going place. to ask you. Good. So that is derived from what she said that yeah. 
whether it's Otunel and all the judges that were raised, Samson and all the mm -hmm. others, it was because of their iniquity and the sins that they committed that God raised these judges to help them to walk in the path of God. But in the light of the New Testament, God cannot make allowance. These things do happen. Mm -hmm. And I think this is where we've misunderstood the place of God's love. Mm -hmm. We think God loves us to the point where we could let us do all the things that exactly. are not right. And he will forgive us. Your sins are already forgiven. Mm -hmm. Yes, but as beyond a certain belong. point, God mm -hmm. cracks the whip. Okay. But he says in the New Testament that it's the clear. wages of sin is there. It's, it's clearly in the yeah. word. Do, do you get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And he, he, he calls unto us to repent. That is why he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for us. Mm. Are we assessing the blood? Are we making sure that the blood that speaks forgiveness yeah. will forgive us? Otherwise, what is the point? That he should go on the cross to die. Mm -hmm. to carry our sons and we continue to sin. But you realize that there are a lot of people who have never <laughs> spoken about God, leaders, national yeah. leaders, who for the first time, in a certain when I sit there and look at <laughs> social media, I, I saw one, I wouldn't name names, mm. but one of the European leaders of a major European country, virtually with his hands in the air, yeah. saying that it comes to his wit's end. Yeah. I think that's the word I yeah. read. That calling on the name of the Lord for divine intervention. We come to the place where we recognize that, hey folks, this thing it's is beyond real. us. Yeah. There should be a certain God factor. Yes. But it's something that brings us to that precipice, that place where we acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. And as our sister was saying, for many nations and people, there's no place for God in their mind. Yeah. But something brings us to a certain awakening as it is in the Bible, that there's a God factor in life. Yeah. And God will not let some things go on indefinitely. He will crack the whip and he will bring us to our senses. We know that God will not use miracles to do what common sense should do. And so we're asking, I mean, the president has asked that we all pray okay. and fast. Yes. But at the same time, people are saying that, but that's not enough. We still need our uh, you know, governments to put in measures to ensure that, you know, the crisis does not go beyond what we can handle. And hopefully we can even end this before it gets worse. Mm. So is prayer enough? Is that all we need? No. If you look at Second Chronicles 16, 12, a king called Asa. Bible said that he, 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 he was diseased in his feet. Until his disease, his disease was exceedingly great. He resorted to only physicians. And mm. God was angry. And God was angry. God, God was, was upset. angry. Okay. God was upset. <laughs> okay. upset. So we need the two. Mm -hmm. That is why we are educating the people. That the protocols and the principles I, that I are being should clarify themselves. it for her that God was upset that he, he did, did not, not resort to God to him. Okay. and yes. I sought okay. help from other sources. I see. Which means from what she's saying, God expects us to come to him. Yeah. Okay. And he will provide the answers. He is a healer. Okay. The ultimate healer. For me, going to hospital, fine. But if he does not help with the diagnosis, sometimes you, the doctors will tell you, go and do this scan. Go and do this scan. Mm -hmm. When this, mm -hmm. they, they, they can trace it. So there's always a combination of the God factor and this. That is why we are educating the people. Let's follow the protocols. We need to wash our hands. Must it take coronavirus virus to exactly. come and say, uh, uh, Madam Ajwa, you've been broadcast. Ajwa, clean. Mm -hmm. Every time, mm -hmm. let's do this. We are defecating everywhere. Yeah. Must it take coronavirus to cause us to wash our hands? Must it take coronavirus to cause us to disinfect Fact, our markets? You see, so we have to hold governments accountable. I'm now speaking from the media. Yeah, I, I get you. <laughs> I, uh, yes, there are certain things that ought to be. That is why I think that we must all put our hands together, make sure that all the protocols and the principles that WHO are turning yes. out through yeah. our government. And the, look at what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. If these people had not been quarantined, and they had been the released, that, that is it, mm -hmm. into the general public. Do you know the community spread? Yeah. If 100 and something were tested and we had 25, and there are about 1,000. Yeah. The uh, multiplier yeah, effect. That is it. Yes. The community spread. That is why they are saying that. Social distancing, I believe it. Okay. They say that we should wash our hands. We should use the sanitizer. We should, we should not, uh, uh, when we cough, we should, we should cover. cover. So we are educating uh, the mass of our people that, listen, 
Let's do that whilst we pray. Whilst we because pray. Okay. God believes in leadership. Mm. And, and, and that is why we are praying for the president, the cabinet ministers, and the health workers. That exactly. God will give them godly counsel, protection and everything. So that what they tell us to do, we plus prayer, pray. that is it. Bishop, I, I personally it. think that education on it is not sufficient. Okay. Civic education, general education. Because every now and then I come across folks who don't simply believe there's an existence of COVID-19 mm -hmm. or coronavirus. It's really sad. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's in the light of the level of education and literacy in the system. Yeah. But there are people who still don't believe. They think it's business as usual. They think uh, some policymakers have ganged up and are trying to wipe out a certain group of people. There are all kinds of conspiracy theories out there. Yeah. I think we need to put this whole thing into over we should not wait until we come to yes. the point where there should be a total lockdown. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that would be. Yeah. That's not what we expect. But I think they should increase and accelerate their civic education and teach people on the things. After yeah, this, too. where do we go from here? Exactly. Do we come back to normal mm. and behave ourselves now? We can go, this thing is gone, and wait for another thing to happen before oh. we put ourselves in check. I think the civic education generally uh, should be better than it is now. All right. We'll move away from that and still talk more about the fasting and prayer. What's the okay. way to go? The government has put out some guidelines for Christians yes. and for Muslims as well. We have 10 prayer points uh, that we should go by. And they're asking us to fast and pray. Mm -hmm. For people who may not be too privy um, you know, to how to go about fasting and prayers, mm -hmm. what is the way? That's awful. <laughs> no. Uh, you didn't put your question well. What well, what I'm asking is that, mm. so they have given us guidelines. Yes. We have 10 prayer points. Yes. We have the Muslims' prayer points mm. as well. Mm. And so I'm sure that they have made it quite easy yes. for us to follow yes. some guidelines. Yes. But at the same time, there are people who may not be privy okay. to fasting and prayers as well. Okay. So for such people, and even for every Ghanaian as well, um, are these... I think the, I've seen uh, you an get outline what I mean. of the okay. prayer points. You Among have. Other, mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Uh, it's been sent to my phone. Mm -hmm. uh, there's about 10 prayer points yes, I've been out yes. with clear mm -hmm. scriptures and guidelines mm -hmm. uh, to pray for God to heal those infected yes. with the virus. Mm -hmm. uh, Psalm 103, verse 3. Mm -hmm. I'll just name mm -hmm. some of the scriptures for those who may be taking notes. And Jeremiah chapter 17, okay. verse 14. And then also there is a place for prayer to stop the panic yeah. and the pandemic. You see, uh, that's Psalm 91, verse 3. Yes. Jeremiah chapter 33. Two to three, and I also wrote personally Job chapter five. Okay. Yes, verse nineteen to seven uh, to twenty-four, and also protection of the healthcare team. Uh, there are people I read the other day that quite a sizable number of doctors, priests in the front line helping with those who have been infected have died. Mm -hmm. It's it's a sad commentary. You see, and so they are putting their lives in the line of danger, in harm's way. Protection for the healthcare team. We shouldn't just pushing them into the front line. Why are they not? Some may even run away yeah. for obvious reasons because some are claiming the protective materials are not available. We should pray for them. Mm -hmm. It's also a spiritual issue. Uh, Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. And okay. then we go to Isaiah 41, verse 10. And also there's a place to pray. Uh, one of the prayer points there that really thrilled me is to pray for the president, mm -hmm. national leaders for wisdom in the decision making, in managing the pandemic. You can yeah. imagine the amount of pressure the voices that the president is it's hearing. hearing. Everybody is trying to put out a suggestion. Hey, this can work. It's, it's not going to be an issue of trying. Or they are doing their best. Several decisions must be taken on the spur of the moment. It will take the wisdom and the grace of God. And so we also pray for the president and all his men. Exactly. And particularly, there's a prayer point I put out here. It's not out it's there. Not okay. I think there was one I saw to pray for the world through all this to come to Christ. Mm -hmm. God can glorify his name through any situation. Right. God can use anything mm. to glorify his name. Mm. That when it's all over, mm. what would people learn? The mm. church should capitalize on mm. it. The church should see the good mm. out of the ugly. That mm. it's not as bad as we think. Mm. Yes. And so in any situation, one of the kings in the Bible said, Ah, you nearly made me a Christian. When Paul made a <laughs> testimony, he said he nearly. Mm. And Paul said, I wish you were like me mm. right now. So God can use any situation to glorify his name. But there's one I wrote here. When it's all over, from Job chapter 1, and to put it out, let's see, Job okay. 1 10. What I call the hedge uh, formula. Okay. Job 1 10. That is it. Uh, the Satan yes. uh, ne uh, negotiated, and he told, um, the Lord told Satan, that yes. Satan, have you considered my servant Job? Mm. 
so I, I have derived out of it i've written what i call the hedge yeah. formula okay so, so let, job one thing job one thing let, let's, let's read just it for a moment it says okay. that okay you found it yes I guess. Have you not put a hedge around him mm -hmm. and his household mm -hmm. and everything he has? Mm -hmm. You have blessed the work of his hands mm -hmm. so that his flocks and heads are spread I think we'll limit land. ourselves to but, have you but, not made a hedge. Yes, but also, for, it's instructive to add that mm -hmm. the Lord said, mm -hmm. have you considered myself, Job? He sounds evil. Mm -hmm. He fears the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that is why the hedge is there. And so, any so time, beyond this, that is it. We should cultivate this, the fear of, of the Lord. Okay. Walk in righteousness. That is it. So we are quoting Psalm 91, and I think that we cannot quote Psalm 91 just like that. Mm. Psalm 91 is for people who fear the Lord. Mm. Okay. So he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High shall abide under the shadow but of the Almighty. Yeah. We are standing in the garden. We are standing. Mm. No. So, so, so I'm saying that mm -hmm. there is the need for us, mm. even as believers today mm -hmm. to repent and say that god cleanses that's where yeah. we begin from yes from yeah. all unrighteousness mm -hmm. okay. and you know uh, there's one prayer topic in the bulletin okay. Okay. that also for the name pray okay, which pray one? that is that we should we should mm -hmm. pray for families that families will be strengthened okay, okay. now okay, most of us are home now mm -hmm. our children are home mm -hmm. they are also having quality time it is my prayer mm. that we uh, would bond. That yeah. being at home, now you, 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 you can't just go visit it, mm -hmm. you know, and you come back so from the father, mother, mother. So that, yes. that God unite us. That for once, the marriage bed will not be defiled. The Bible says it is honorable mm. that we are defiling it. But James <laughs> for um, it is so give, nice. Give the folks listening, before you brought it up, a, a deeper <laughs> and a more express explanation of what you mean that, yes, children, father, mm -hmm. mother, being in the house doesn't necessarily create no, no, a no. platform for bonding. Is, you could as well okay. have the father. It is quality at, time. All of us. As well have the father. For the children are, I, I saw, 18, just a moment, mm -hmm. I saw some children, they were giving us a review, and I saw some of the children on the iPad. Yeah. The father is on the it's PC. On, exactly. He's working from home. Yeah. The mother is minding her business watching TV. So all of them, as groups in the house, doesn't necessarily create a platform for bonding. Okay. How are these barriers and walls and partitions removed? Mm -hmm. Now, the government has created an opportunity for us to rework the family, yeah. as it were. But how is it done? Can we eat from the dining table, all okay. of us. Okay. Okay. Mm. With social distance. Mm. Mm. Can we pray together with social distance? Mm. Many of us are always rushing. So we mm. can't even pray together as yeah. a family. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So the children, by the time we come, they are sleeping. Mm. They can't see mommy. They can't see daddy. Can daddy, you now they have the distance learning. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, can daddy look at what is happening? What is happening? Yeah. And all but that. you think some good can come out? I think some mm. good can come, and the the women and the men who are married can have this uh, unity in bed. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So in uh, going to I was going to bring James, James four okay. and verse eight. It's interesting. Come near to God, mm. and He will come near to you. Mm. Wash your hands. Draw nigh to God, okay. Wash mm. your hands. You sinners and purify your heart. Is that you literally what yeah, you yeah. wash your hands? Yes, yeah, wash your So we are saying that as we wash our hands. James is drawn nigh. Okay. Okay. Wash okay. your hands. That's why I say come near to God mm. and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double minded. So mm. I'm saying that as we wash our hands, let's purify our hearts. Okay. It's very right. important. Yeah. I need to love my neighbor. Mm. If I love my neighbor, how can I sell the sanitizer that was two cities? For this? Yeah. You see, so the bottom line is that, like Osofu said, what is the way for after this? This repentance must stay on. Yeah. This attitude of prayer and fasting must, must stay, stay on. on. Okay, quickly, I want to ask that some people are asking, so do I fast and pray from 6 to 12, 6 to 3, 6 to 6? Which one would God hear? Should I do a dry fast? I mean... What is the direction on that? I think the book of Joel gives us a very deep understanding. I think throughout history, churches, 
denominations, individuals, have different approaches. Okay. Sometimes you see me denominational, different approaches to fasting. You should also take account of medical reasons, mm. health cases, yes. uh, women who are pregnant, people in very difficult conditions. All these ones are important because people are faster than dying. Yes. Don't fool yourself. Mm -hmm. And so uh, let's, let's give a proper appreciation to the issue that if you can do up to 12, that's what your health it's your state of mind which is important yeah. okay. and the state heart. of your heart. If you are filled with sin and you are fasting, God is not looking at you That's anyway. It. And so you've got to first apply Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse, if my people are called by my, my name, name, we stand in the gap, he said, yeah. repent. First, I think we are going to do that, stand in the gap, the last verse of uh, Ezekiel chapter 22, stand in the gap and make a hedge for the people. Okay. And so those of us who believe yeah. in God and know God will stand in. Okay. But generally, limiting ourselves to the fast itself, those who can do up to 12, why not? All you right. can drink water. I, I, maybe because mm. I'm an older person, mm. but for young people, even other people, generally doctors advise that if you can do dry, that's what you can take up to 6-4. All right. Okay. Nobody, I think nobody can write and print it out that I legislate that this how it should be done. Four o'clock is what your strength can take. Okay, you must understand that elders who want to fast some on medication. What do you do? All these mm -hmm. things should be taken into consideration. But I suggest that if you are going to do a long fast beyond a day or two, then drinking water medically is advisable. If and I'm, that is a, okay. I, sorry, I, sorry to cut you. Yeah, that, that's advisable. Okay. Because it will detoxify your body. The water right. help you. To, but I don't. It's not advised that you go beyond two days, three days without drinking water because it affects the body. People okay. are fasted. And how you break the fast is also important. Mm. You don't try to catch all the meal you missed in the morning, <laughs> okay. in the evening. Because some people will be piling up uh, their work. meals for the day. It doesn't work. You have nullified your fast. Virtually. Okay. But if I fast and I don't pray, then it's also nullified. So if I'm at work and I'm busy, what, what is the, what, what's, what's the you can you can pray without fasting, but you cannot, you cannot fast, fast without, without praying. praying. So that would be what starving. A willful starvation. <laughs> Hunger strike. <laughs> So I, think I will advise okay. before Auntie comes in, mm -hmm. I will advise that if you are going to fast as the president uh, graciously has made permission for, you should make time and pray. And pray. What okay. is the use? What, what kind of fast is that? Maybe you are just meditating, pondering on the word of God. You've got to make time to pray, even if it's an hour, and also make time and read the word. Okay. Some of the scriptures we've quoted, take it back to God. Okay. All right, I'm going to give you, you coming asking, in. And then later you can tell me about the horn as yeah, well when you are done. You, you were asking how we told many of our women mm -hmm. who work, get up early as the virtuous one. Mm. Okay. Like also we say, mm. pray, go into the world. Mm. You are working. But find time. You see, these things, it depends on individual. Mm. So make time. Mm. Steady the word. Okay. Apply it so that you know that today, as you are waking, your mind is steadfast on God. Mm. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And my old ladies were like the 80 plus, and I encounter. You can do it to 10. And I, when we declare fasting, I glow. That's what we do. Okay. And sometimes it's 20 to 12. Yeah. And some of us who are bugal can also go like Osofu is saying. Mm. So it depends on your health okay. and what you do. Otherwise, sometimes people look at the watch. Ah. It's, it's, it's just this. A minute just, to 12. Can, just, I, can I break it already? <laughs> <laughs> Ask you, please tell me about this horn. Um, and, let, let me just how before it plays I, I want to okay. read the scripture. <laughs> okay. And I think um, it should stick. Daniel chapter 6. Verse 10 is one of the guiding scriptures All right. that has helped me through the years. Now, when Daniel knew, for those who are asking questions, is it necessary? Is it, yeah. Uh, should, should I be cranked to start praying and fast? Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, mm. he went home. Now, a law had been made mm -hmm. that was going to affect the church. Yeah. And in his upper room, with his windows open towards Jerusalem, he knelt down on his knees three times that day mm. and prayed and gave thanks before his God. As was his custom since early days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Th this is an amazing scripture. It wasn't the fasting or the situation that was necessitating it. Daniel was already a praying person. So he says, and when Daniel knew the writing, something had come against the kingdom of God and against the people of God. But Daniel went home and instead of going into hiding and crying and saying our life is over, we are going to be overrun by the enemy. The Bible says he prayed and gave thanks as his custom was, we pray to God that when it's all over, prayer will become a custom Amen. in the lives of many people as 
and it's evidenced in the life of Daniel and what he did for God. Okay, okay. Well, keep your messages coming in. I'll see if I can read a few of them before we go into a time of prayer with um, Bishop James Sa and Madame Gifty Afenidazi. I wanted to ask about the horn. It's in, been... time, in times of old, if you read Joel, like Joel 2, you blow the trumpet. In times of old, the trumpet was so significant. Anytime the people were going to congregate to do something, you blow the trumpet. And as for the shofar, in Joshua 6, the Lord gave direct instructions to Joshua mm -hmm. to have the priest blow the shofar so that the wall of Jericho will break. Will down, and so yeah. sometimes when we go into intercession, we blow the shofar for every resistance to okay. come down okay. so that you will have access. Now, if all of us are dying, how, how, how can we? So we, we, it's, it's significant. Mm. It's significant to rally people. And symbolic. And symbolic. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, um, I guess, and that's for what? The heads oh, of the various, um, you know, you have to be a priest or you have to be, oh, or no anybody necessary. at all can no blow necessary. it. I'd want to see you blow it. <laughs> I'd want to see you blow it. Okay. I'm blowing into the four corners of the nation. Okay. And this is a form of prayer. Yeah. Like you are saying. And also declaration of war us. on the enemy. Declaration of war on, on the, the enemy. enemy. And at this point, we're going to start praying. And so we're giving um, Bishop James Sa and Madame Gifia Fenidazi the opportunity to pray uh, with us and for us as a nation as well. Right after that, we'll see if we'll have enough time to read your comments. So please keep them coming in until we're ready to start with our prayer. Okay, so we'll take our first scripture. Let's, you, you, you can read it okay. for me. We, I'm going to, I'll take this and then you take the other. Mm. We are praying first of all, <clears throat> I want to take the scripture to stop the pandemic. Mm. Psalm 91 verse 3. Okay, okay Psalm 91 yeah. verse 3. And I'm going to take, we'll read two scriptures a piece. Okay. I'll go to the book of Job. So, so you, you go to Psalm 91. Okay. Yes. Madam Gifty, okay. Verse 3. Uh, yes, Auntie Gifty will go to Psalm 91, verse 3, and I'll go to Job chapter 5. Okay. I really love that scripture. Right. Job chapter 5. Just a moment, I'm on my way. Job chapter 5. Good. I'm reading 5, 19 to 24. So you. I should read, yes. Okay. Psalm 91, verse 3. Surely he will save you from the foulest name mm. and from the deadly pestilence. Mm. The chief says, Obey you with you, Jesus. Amen. From the noisome pestilence. Mm. So here, I'm going to read Job chapter 5, 19. Mm. It says, It shall deliver you in six troubles. Mm. Yes, in seven, no evil shall touch you. Mm. In famine, it shall redeem you mm. from death. Mm. Zagadabaha. Cool. And in war, from the power of the mm. sword. Mm. You shall be hidden from the scorch of mm. the tongue. Mm. And you shall not be afraid of destruction mm. when it comes. Mm. Mm. Let's zero in. You shall not be afraid of destruction when it comes. And you shall laugh at destruction and famine. Mm. Now, the big one. And you shall not be afraid of the beast of the earth. Mm. You shall have a covenant with the stones of the field and mm. beast of the field mm. and shall be at peace. Mm. Verse 24. Mm. You shall know that your tent mm. is in peace. Mm. You shall visit your dwelling mm. and nothing shall be amiss. Mm. You will go and come. Your husband, your wife, your mm. children. None will be lost. Mm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And let me add, Hosea says, come, let us return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces, mm. but he will heal us. He has injured us, but he will bind up our wounds. Amen. Read it Amen. again, let's see. Hosea 6, mm. from verse 1, come, let us return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us. He has injured us, but he will bind our wounds. I'll read the scripture my bishop gave the other oh. time. I didn't seen it before then. It's Numbers 31. Verse 49. Wow. And they said to Moses, Your servants have taken account of the men of war who are under our command, mm. and not a man of us is missing. missing. Amen. Not one of it's us missing. is missing. When it's all over, mm. not one of us mm. is missing. Mm. For every home, mm. for every family, mm. for every church, mm. by the grace of God. Mm. We receive it. 
Amen. Amen. None of us is missing. Numbers. You're ready. Yes. Numbers. That is Numbers chapter, chapter 31, 31 mm. verse, verse 49. Okay. Mm. We have counted the men and not a man of us is missing by the grace of God. So, All right. wait, wait, let me, I, I said this, but let me read it mm. so that people will know. Second Samuel mm. 24. Okay. 15 and 16. So the Lord sent a plague on Israel from the morning until the end of the designated time. Mm. And 70,000 of the people from Dan to Bezheba died. When the angel stretched out his hand to destroy Jerusalem, the Lord was grieved because of the calamity. Mm. And he said to the angel who is afflicting the people, enough, it is enough, withdraw your hand. Amen. Mm. Amen. God has the power to. That is it. Definitely. Okay, so I see that Gifty is on standby for some worship so we can go into a time of prayer okay. with Bishop James Sa and Madam Gifty Afeni yes, Dati. And so join us as you're watching us. Uh, be in the spirit as well. Let's do this. I'm letting you take control for me. Yes, I It is a ya frawa a ya bro a ya bro a ya bro hey ya frawa a ya bro nyame a ya bro erati gana ma fra fra we ya fra fra wa a ya bro nyame a ya bro a ya bro nyame ya fra fra wa a ya bro a ya bro erati gana ma fra fra wo ya fra fra wa a ya bro Yes, 
Unashamedly, we lift up our hands, and we speak to the east, to the west, to the north, and to the south. Mandakura Kataya, Yekaduma Haya. Arise, O God of Zion. Arise like a mighty man of war. Stay yourself, O God. Stay yourself. Stay yourself by your mighty hand. Show yourself strong on our behalf. The Bible says the thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Father, according to the word of God in Ezekiel 22, this day, as elders on the walls of the nation, as watchmen, we stand in the gap and make a hedge, and we speak to the enemy, and we declare to the enemy, back down. In the name of Jesus, we speak by the tokens of the blood of Jesus. We speak by the power of the finger of God. We speak by the name of Jesus Christ who died and rose and by the power of his resurrection in the name of Jesus. The Bible says at the mention of the name. Hey! Hey! Kataya! Radagaba At the mention of the name, everything has a name. At the mention of the name, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall proclaim that Jesus is the son of the living God and therefore we declare as elders we pray into the spirit we bind every overruling spirit we bind every demonic assignment we bind every assignment principality throne demonic activity from the east the west the north and the south in the name of Jesus we speak the blood of Jesus over the nation we speak the blood of Jesus over the nation those who are infected, yes, those who are sick, yes, we command their healing yes, in the name of Jesus. We declare there shall be no more death. There shall be no more death. There shall be no more death. We draw a bloodline. We draw a bloodline right now. We draw a bloodline. This far, this far, your roaring water shall come in no more. We draw a bloodline in the name of Jesus. We declare the enemy can proceed no further in the name of Jesus. We lift up the blasted band. We lift up the name of Jesus. We lift up the power of the Holy Ghost. We lift up the church as a wall against the enemy in the name of Jesus. And God said unto Moses, why are you crying unto me in Genesis, in Exodus chapter 14? And God said to Moses, why are you crying unto me? Lift up your rod and let the sea open. We declare that right now we lift up the name of Jesus. We lift up the blasphemy banner. We command the virus to cease. Makadai, we command the, the pandemic to cease in the name of Jesus. We create a barrier around the nation from the north to the south, to the east, to the west. We declare you can proceed no further. Makarakataya. There shall be no more death. There shall be no more death. There shall be no more death. There shall be no more expression of the enemy. You are mute. We command the enemy to keep quiet. We command the power of the enemy to be broken. And the Bible says, and the Bible says, in Psalm 2, why do the heathen rage? And the kings of the earth imagine a vain thing. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. And I pray from the word of God. And I declare by the counsel of the Lord that that which God has spoken is what will come yes. to pass. Yes, Lord. The thief comes back for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I pray from Ezra chapter 8. 21 to 23. The hand of God is for us, but the hand of the Lord is against the enemy. 
in the name of Jesus. We release the hand of the Lord. We release the hand of the Lord. We release the hand of the Lord. Ezra chapter 8. When they fasted and they prayed, he said the hand of our God is for us. But the hand of our God is against those who forsake him. Let the glory of God be revealed in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Is it not written from Job chapter 34, verse 28 and 29? Is it not written, the cry of the poor shall come to you. Thou who answereth prayer, hear the cry of the afflicted. I speak forth the word of God from Job chapter 35, verse 9. Father, we cry out for help because of your mighty hand. The eye of the Lord is upon the righteous and his ears are open unto the cry of those that seek him. From Psalm 34, 15 to 16. Arise, O God. Yes, Lord. Show yourself strong. Yes, Lord. Our strength, thy grace, our rule, thy word, yes. our end, the glory of the Son of the living God, captain of Israel's host yes, Lord. and God. Show yourself, O oh God. Of all who seek the mighty one of Israel, beneath thy sudden wind, the power of the enemy be broken. The cloud of thy protecting love, you are our strength, our strength, yeah, thy grace, hey, thy way. We give you glory. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. The Lord, by thine own erring spirit, led, we shall not in the desert stray. We shall not fear. We shall arise. Not fall down. Arise, O son of Zion. Show yourself. No miss. Our providence shall we. As far from dangers, from fear, Thank you, Lord. why not almighty love is near? Also for <laughs> because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Yes. Because he lives, we can face. Yeah, sing it, sing oh, it. fear is gone. And now I know. Yes. Yes, I know. Yes. yes. We declare victory. We declare victory. And we declare victory. We declare victory. We declare victory. By the blood of Jesus. He lives. Ghanaians, we can face tomorrow. Jesus be magnified in the land because Christ lives. All fear is gone. Hey. And now I know. Because and so in Exodus 15, when you had held the horse and its rider into the deep Moses made a declaration in song and said, Among the gods who is like unto thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing one. You created by your way in Job 9 9. The Orion, the Pleiades, and the Actoros, hey. and the constellations of the South. You are the miracle worker. You work miracles that cannot be phantomed. That is why, oh God, the 
executive, the judiciary, the legislature, all arms of government plus all the men of God and all Ghanaians have come together on this historic day to seek your face and to say have hey. mercy have mercy have mercy already we are more poor let your compassion come over us so visit the upper west region oh God with your compassion visit the upper east region with your compassion visit oh God northeast with your compassion yes, visit oh God northern region and savannah with your compassion yes, oh God we cry unto you that you will enter Puno with your compassion hey. you will enter Puno east with your compassion Brother, you will enter Ahafo with your compassion you will enter the Ashanti region with your compassion hey Arade, you will enter the eastern region with your compassion you will enter Oti regions with your compassion. You will enter the western region and western north with your compassion. You will enter the eastern region with your compassion. Yes. And then you will enter the central region with your compassion. Yes, and above all you will enter greater Accra with your compassion. Father the community spread oh God. And so God today the line oh God. The blood has been drawn oh God. And we are saying this is how far the proud waves can come. We pray that the community spread, oh God. Ah, hey, you will stop it. Father, that, that you will heal those that are infected. Because you are the healer. Do it, Father, God. protect those that are on the front line. That they will not die. Father, we rebuke this foul spirit. Behind COVID-19. Yes. We, be, we, we, we rebuke the spirit, oh God, of the coronavirus. And we are saying that Lord have mercy. Stay in your hand, O oh God. Let the angel of destruction stop, O oh God. Throughout the world, we are perplexed. But give Ghana, O oh God, a Goshen experience. Give us a Goshen experience. You say you would deal differently with your people. And so, Father, in Exodus 10, you, O oh God, covered, O oh God, the ground, O oh God, from 15 with the uh, black locusts. They devoured everything. But as Moses prayed unto you, in verse 19, you changed the wind to a very strong west wind and cut up the locusts and carried them into the Red Sea. Not a locust was left anywhere in Egypt. And that is what we are saying. You can cause the storm to become a whisper. You can change the direction of this, oh God, disease. Father, hear us, O oh God. Hear us, O oh God. For everybody knows that, O oh God, in Ghana will love you. And therefore, this is the time, O oh God, that you will do differently with your people. We ask, O oh God, that you will put, O oh God, an end to this. And we will say that this is the doing of the Lord. And it is marvelous in our sight. Protect, O oh God, our president. Protect. Protect, O oh God, the cabinet ministers. Protect. Protect the opposition. The opposition. They are mine, O oh God. Yes. That there shall be unity of mind. Yes. Unity of purpose. Yes. To bring direction to the land. In the name of Yeshua Amashia, I will soon come and king. Anyone nanso? Emrika Kreni. Yeni Yeshua nanso? Emrika Kreni. Let's sing it one more time. I on young queen. Oni e hambodo ti bien ni na remo oni ya na na ayo nyon kwa oni e hambodo ti bien ni na remo oni ya na I want to read a scripture from second chronicles yes. chapter 20 it says in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, and it happened after this that the people of Moab, the people of Amnon, came to battle against Jehoshaphat. 
And some came and told Jehoshaphat, saying, A great multitude is coming against you from Engad. A great multitude yes. from Wuhan, ah. from Europe. Hey. A great multitude of apprehension, fear, uncertainty. A great multitude yes. is coming yes. against you yes. from beyond the sea. Hey. And Jehoshaphat feared ah. and set himself to Ma seek the Lord. Fear in the nation. Hey. And so we have set ourselves. Yes, Lord. And the president Ma has so came throughout the land Ma of God. Tole, bebe. Verse 5. Ma and so Joseph has stood in the assembly with the leaders yes. and said, Oh Lord God, oh, of, Lord our God of our fathers, are you not the God of heaven? Ah. And do you not rule in the Ma kingdoms so of the nation? Baba. And in your hand Ma is there no be power be be so that no one yes, okay, is okay. able to withstand you. Yes, Lord. Are you not our God? Are you not our God? Who drove Makato before Lebo. your people Makato. when there was hunger hey. years ago hey. and people could not get food to eat? Hey. Are you not the God who took care of us? Ah. When there was crisis many years ago yes, Lord. under civilian rule hey. under military rule hey. are you not the God who saved the nation from hunger and they dwell in it. Hey. If disaster come upon hey. us, hey. as we face hey. the sword, judgment, mm. pestilence, mm. and famine, mm. we will stand before you and cry out in our affliction. Yeah. COVID-19, oh. coronavirus. Oh. You said, you will hear and you will save us. Verse 12. Oh our, oh, our God, would you not judge them? Hey. For we have no power. We have no power against Corona. Yes, we have no power. Hey. Our eyes are upon uh, you. Uh, our eyes are upon you. Yeah. Verse seventeen. Mm. You said you will not need to fight this battle. Aduba, position yourself. Yes. Stand still, guys. Yes. And see the salvation see of the, the Lord. Salvation Who of the is Lord. with you? Yes. Oh Ghana. Oh Jubilee. Oh Accra. Yes. Oh all the regions. Uh, Do not fear. Uh -huh. Or be dismayed. Uh -huh. Tomorrow go out. Yes. For the Lord is with you. Uh -huh. For the Lord is with you. Uh -huh. For the battle is the Lord. For the battle is the Lord. And then we continue from For the second battle Chronicles. is the Lord. Mm. You are reading from there. Yes. Second Chronicles. 32. Good. You are going to 32. We are going to 32. The battle is the Lord. Mm. It's more than a political statement. It's the word of God. It is the word of God. And it works. <laughs> For the battle <laughs> is the, the Lord. Lord. For the battle, battle is the Lord. Lord. Can you say it again? For the, the battle, battle is the Lord. Lord. And, and so in 2 Chronicles 32, Gandalaba. when Senator like the COVID-19 disease threatened the people of God Kassantala. from verse 7, the king said, Be strong and courageous. Which verse? What chapter? Uh, chapter 32, 2 okay. Chronicles 32. Okay. From verse 7. Okay. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this king of Assyria, mm? because of the coronavirus and the vast army with him. For there is a greater power with us than him. With him is the only the arm of flesh. But with us is the Lord our God. To help us to fight our hey. battles, to help us to fight this corona. And as the king, Sanatera, bragged and bragged and bragged, Bible said in verse uh, 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 20, King Hezekiah and the prophet Isaiah cried out in prayer to heaven about this. Yes. And the Lord sent an angel oh. who animated all the fighting men and the leaders and officers in the camp of the Syrian army. I'm reading the verse 21. So he withdrew to his own land disgraced. He, and coronavirus will withdraw from the land. In the mighty name of Jesus. For we the redeemed of the Lord say so. That we are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Yes. And today the voice in the blood will speak forgiveness for the nation. The voice in the blood will speak forgiveness in the nation. And God 
Lord will have mercy and cause the natural kind of virus to retreat shame faced in the name of the one who created the heavens and the earth. Even in the name of Jesus. Do not be afraid. We speak against fear. Fear is a spirit. Yes. There is fear. Makato there is not enough of anything. People are afraid. Ghana, listen to Even the word of the Lord. Believers are afraid. Yes. Some are traveling. Mm. There are people moving from London listen, to the hinterland. They said they are going to Scotland. Lord. And the Scots said, no, no, you no. can't come here. There are people, people have been calling. Some say, can I go to the village and hide there? Uh-huh. I said, no way is safe. Mm. Glory and grace and protection is in the name of the Lord. The Bible said, do not be afraid. Hey. 2 Chronicles 20, verse 15. Do not be afraid. Just save the Lord to Ghana. Just save the Lord to the president, to the leadership, to every person in this nation. Do not be afraid. Our God is the God of heaven. Do not be afraid because of the great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God. The battle is not ours, but God. Today, we stand here in the name of the Father. Yes, Lord. In the name of the Son. Amen. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. By apostolic authority. Amen. As an elder upon hey, the walls hey, of Jerusalem. Hey, hey, hey. And I declare today. That we hand over this problem. Maswa. To the Lord. In the name of take Jesus. Over, take over, God take will over. take care of Ghana. Aka. God Maswa. will take care of the president. Maswa. God will take care of the position. God will take care of the government. Yes, God will take care of every man yes, and woman in this nation. Yes, we declare today, Maka. we hand over the nation to God in the name of Jesus. The yes, Lord will fight for us and we shall hold our yes, peace Lord. in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20. So they rose early in the morning and went to the wilderness of Tekwa and then went up. Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear, O Ghana, and you inhabitants of Ghana, believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Yes. Believe his prophets, yes. and you shall prosper. Ah. And the conclusion of the matter in <laughs> verse 22, and when so they began to sing, and then they began to pray, yes. the Lord said, I'm and pushed them. Hey. Ah, ah, ah. And the Lord said and pushed yes, Lord. against COVID-19. In the name of Jesus. The Lord said and pushed me against coronavirus. Who came against Ghana yes, and the world. Ah. And they were defeated. Ah, they were defeated. Be gone on belief. Our God will defeat them. They were defeated. Defeat Today. Yes. We stand here Mark by the finger of God Ketol. and declare according yes, to the word <laughs> in Second Chronicles yes, 2022. Yes. Coronavirus is defeated. is defeated. Is defeated. COVID-19 is defeated. Is defeated. In the name of in the Jesus. name of the Father, in of the, the name Son. of the Son, in the name of yes, the Holy Lord. Spirit, mm. by the blood of the Lamb. Yes, Lord. At the mention of that name, COVID 19 shall bow. In the name of Jesus. Coronavirus shall bow. Amen. We declare by apostolic authority, <laughs> by prophetic mandate, <laughs> let the enemy stand down. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. <laughs> we secure the highways. <laughs> we secure the byways. Yes. We secure the earth. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We shall not die. We shall not die. We shall not die. Yes. We shall not die. Yes. We shall not die. Yes. Seven times we shall not die. We shall die. not die. We shall not we die. Shall not die. We shall not yes. die. We shall, we, we shall live. We shall live. We shall not die. Yes. We shall live. Yes. To declare yes. the glory of the Lord. Yes. We cannot praise God in the land of the dead. We shall praise God in the land of the living. We declare Ghana blood box. Yes. Because we will not die. Why? Because Psalm 1186 says the right hand of the Lord is exalted. And it is doing valiantly for us. And the 17 says so we will not die. We will live. And so Ghana, listen to the word of the Lord. (laughs) Oh God, our help 
if we shall in see the invisible, past, we shall do the Our invisible. hope for years to come. Our shelter from the stormy blast and our eternal We declare it is finished. We declare it is finished. It is finished. We declare it is finished. <laughs> On behalf of all the leaders of the church, the body of Christ, and in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who died and proclaimed he did not say, I am finished. No. He proclaimed out loud yes. to the hearing of the enemy. Yes. When the stone was rolled away, yes, Lord. he ascended into heaven yes. and took captivity yes. Yes. and gave gifts unto yes. men. Yes. He proclaimed yes. to the surprise of the enemy and declared by the power of his resurrection that if the same power that raised Christ from the dead dwell in us, by the same power we declare that today it is finished. The hand of God will work amazing yes. things. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. From Ezra chapter 8, I declare the hand of God yes. bring deliverance. And let the hand yes, of God be Lord. against the virus. Yes. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, we declare it done and it shall Jesus. not be reversed. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 All right. What, what, what gives you? Hold on. Gives you a diet. Please hold on. Okay, please hold on. Well, uh, we're glad that a lot of you joined us in the prayer, um, and we hope that you've been fasting as well. This is all to drive away coronavirus. It will not take over our country, as our Bishop um, and Madam Gifty have said. And so I'd like to say thank you to Bishop James Kwekusa. He's a senior bishop at Action International, the Prayer Cathedral. Thank, thank you so much for spending your morning with us. We're so grateful. And also, Madam Gifty Afeni Dadzi is a national prayer, um, um, pardon me, director of Aglo International. Thank you as well. We have the service of God and in the country. Definitely. The service of God in the country. And it continues all day. Yes. It continues all day, but we're also spending our day with Gifty Adoye, and she's been leading us in worship. We're going back to her. We'll be back with more. Osi Amanda Show, Ghana for Mama Show, Israel for Mama Show, Italian for Mama Show, America for Mama Show, Yesuna Yarisaye for Amanda Show, Yesuna Yarisaye for Hey, Ah Yesuna Yarisaye for Amanda Show, Yesuna Yarisaye for. It's yes, you know, your desire for a man, Mesha. Yes, you know, your desire for a man, Mesha. Yes, you know, your desire for a man, Mesha. Yes, you know, your desire for a man, Mesha. Yes, you know, I 